Hello everybody, welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. Today we are at Balboa Island in Newport Beach. This is kind of a little harbor side community. It's a little island in the harbor. Yes, it uh, is. It's accessible by a ferry, which we took over. You can get over here by bridge. It's a tiny little island, uh, but you know, they've got restaurants and bakeries and shops and things and a, a little boardwalk that goes all the way around a little cement path that we're, we're on right now yeah we actually have been trying to get over here for so long and we for some odd reason we just never found the time yeah today we found the time so now we are going to explore we're going to have some lunch yeah just have a really good day and we want you to hang out with us while we do so you know this was also the uh, location where arrested development the ron howard show took place uh you know with jason bateman and will arnett really funny comedy uh but it took place on this island and they owned a frozen banana stand oh. which is very popular uh, around here we've already seen like three of them okay hold it one sec quick pause in the video sorry so i did a little research now that i got home and had some time and realized that the filming location for arrested development was up in marina del rey it was supposed to be a fictitious location on Balboa Island called Oceanside Wharf, which doesn't actually exist. Now back to the video. And the little path that we're on, the little boardwalk, the circumnavigating boardwalk is for pedestrian only, no bikes. But uh, I think it's a pretty small island, so. Yeah, it's not a big island. Easy to navigate. I like this Turquoise Street, Turquoise Avenue actually. And there's some benches, but this, uh, this one's being occupied Aww. by an a, uh, a nice couple enjoying themselves. David and Libby. Oh, David and Libby. They were married 63 years, never went to bed angry. We love and miss you from your three children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. That's a cool dedication. And so I guess they lived on the island, it says. And uh, yeah, they never went to bed angry, Katie. I guess that's the key. I can't say that we <laughs> have followed that rule. Maybe we, should, maybe we should start trying to. I, I tend to go to bed angry, but then I wake up and I'm in a better place to discuss stuff. So uh, okay. I don't know. By the way, there's some work going on over there. Yeah, doing some steel work over there. It's a very happy day, uh, is what it is, Katie. That's a bear collector. Do not feed the bears. That's awesome. Yeah, there's a few in the trees right there. I bet you'd be allowed there, because you're Katie the Disney bear. Amen to that. It's kind of your territory. It is. So we're going to try to find kind of the main drag where all the restaurants and little things are. We're just down this way. Down this way, right? We're going the right way? Down that way. All right. All right. We uh, stumbled upon this sand sculpture. Uh, it was lovingly made and took many hours to build. It's here for the neighbors and visitors to enjoy for as long as possible. Uh, the artist is Chris Crosson at Sandcastle Kit. And he does one of these like all the time. That is awesome. Yeah, there's always like a new one. Put the wind in someone's sails. It's a good it. message. Here's a funny topiary of uh, a little pooch. He's relieving himself on the bush right there. All these gardens in, in these people's front yards are Stunning, beautiful, very well kept. It's a nice little visual when you're walking around this boardwalk. And check out this. I would I would assume that that's a, a whirly gig, you know, like the ones we see at uh, in Toontown. Wind motivated. That's awesome. What a great idea. And looks like the remnants of uh, a previous sand sculpture, back back to its natural state. Okay, we've arrived at Marine Avenue, which is kind of the home of all the restaurants and shops and things. So we'll break off of the uh, boardwalk and head down. It's a trip because it kind of reminds me of a place I've never been, but I've seen it in movies. Martha's Vineyard, where they shot Jaws. It's, it has that kind of feel just from the, the little bit of footage that I've seen via the movie and, and some uh, media kind of has that feel to it. Now, I've never been there, so I don't know if that's even true. Let me know in the comments if, if that's true, but it has that kind of feel. Here's one of the bridges that accesses the island. So we're thinking of stopping and eating here at this spot, Wilma's Patio. That looks kind of cool. Okay, Wilma's Patio it is. Uh, we got a table right here on the patio on the street. Kind of cool, right? right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Classic menu too, I love it. It reminds me of uh, a little bit of Tam O'Shanter a little bit. That old vibe. Oh, what's on special? Pork chorizo omelet. Hey now. We're gonna have uh, a good lunch, so cheers to that. Cheers to that. Arnold Palmer and Estella. Mm. Oh, that's good. Especially after that walk, it got a little warm. It got hot, we were right in the sun. Yeah, that was, you know, nice. We knew we'd have food and drink at the culmination of that little stroll. 
Okay, so we got our lunch and oh my gosh, it looks and smells incredible. We couldn't decide what to get. So we got a meatloaf sandwich and we got a turkey melt and we just swapped it so we can have a half of each. Good idea. And then for the side, Spencer got fries and I got fruit. So again, we'll kind of have a little bit of each and we both got a side of a little pickle chip. Mmm, mmm, I love pickles. <laughs> Me too. I'm excited to try this. I'm gonna go for the meatloaf first. Okay. Let's Thank see how it is. I love the Parmesan crusted sourdough right there. Yeah, good call on that. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh my goodness. And I'm gonna try the turkey melt. Uh, that was kind of what I chose, and Katie chose the meatloaf, and then we decided, wait, I want what you're having, and that was the decision to split each of these, but let's give it a go. There's bacon, avocado, Swiss cheese, turkey, and of course that nice sourdough. Mm. Okay, that's really good. Mm. Kind of what I expected. Uh, it's actually better than I expected. Oh yeah. All right, well that was good. Wilma's patio. That was so good. It had the look, you know, uh, like a cool little quaint thing and it, it, it definitely paid off. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely be back there. <laughs> most definitely. Look at that. Sunny days, it says. Today is a sunny day. It sure is. All right, we're going to take a stroll down the little Marine Avenue here and check out the shops and the wares and the whatnots, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love all the, the signages. It always reminds me of MASH. Wow. So many little spots to eat. I know, and like... Look at shop. this store. Sir La Mer. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, look at this pillow. That'd be good for, for the Malibu spot. Look at this little fella. <laughs> Chilling. I like these pillows too, the starfish and the yeah. welcome, welcome whale. Oh, I, I see that. somebody back there that yeah. very friendly. And then look at all these nautical pillows. Yeah, that's a great spot. My mom would love this store. Katie loves this store. Uh, love, love. But first, I'm gonna get coffee because it's right here. I can okay. smell it. <laughs> Let's smell the brew. All right, Huskins Coffee. This is where Katie is gonna get her brew. She smelled it. It's a roastery. Okay, I'm really happy good. now. Dude, this coffee is really good. Mmm. Rich. That is good. because they roast it right there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Huskins Coffee. Ooh. Now we need a frozen banana. Oh, look, they have a cute little old-fashioned candy store. Balboa candy. She can't help herself. Wow. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Look at, they have Spumoni saltwater taffy. Pretty much any good coastal town or area has a good candy shop. Oh, look at the little Jeep that you can oh, rent. Cool. A little electric mini Jeep. That'd be kind of fun. That is cool. Oh, would you look at this little window here? A lot of familiar friends uh, that I see here. Oh, and Mr. Snoopy. I used to be a big fan of Snoopy. That was the first um, first character I learned to ever draw. A Snoopy. Oh, and there's Minnie and Daisy. Looks like they're ready for the island. Oh, and I just noticed across the street, Katie, sugar and spice. The original frozen banana since 1945. Wow. They've also got ice cream. It says, Balboa bars. I want a Balboa bar. What's a Balboa bar? And we will soon find out. I don't really, I've never actually had a frozen banana before. I have not either. And they it, sell it, them at Disneyland. I'm not a big banana girl. Yeah, it's something that I've, it's never been something on my list. Like the idea sounds cool and everything, but I just am not. I'm going to try it though. You're going to try it? because I mean, one in Rome. Yeah, yeah. I also want to try a Balboa bar. I wish you could do like half and half. So I don't know what what is. I know I I feel like I would like a Balboa bar better than a banana. Look at my like <laughs> debates in my head. Your it's logic. A Balboa bar yeah. versus a Balboa banana. <laughs> okay, we've crossed the street and there it is. Since 1945, sugar and spice, the original frozen banana. So there's a Balboa bar. Oh, that's what it looks like. Okay. It's got a face on it. I like that. Get it. Here is uh, your obligatory sugar and spice NB hashtag original frozen banana. Get your uh, social media here with your uh, little frozen banana character. Here's the story. A fortuitous accident results in the world's oldest continually operated banana stand. Here's the reference to Arrested Development right there. 
You know, it's paid tribute to the original, even borrowing the royal blue logo and banana guy mascot. Oh, okay. So it was, this is what they took it from, kind of. All right. Here's the, uh, here's the code so you can check the menu. This is very intriguing because not only do they have the banana and the Balboa bar, they've got frozen cheesecake on a stick, frozen tiramisu on a stick, ice cream cookie sandwich. We get just ice cream in a scoop. But you can basically choose your flavor. You, it's like a step process up here. Yeah, look at this. Step one, choose a treat. Step two, if it's a Balboa bar, uh, then you choose the ice cream, choose your dip, and then choose your toppings. It's like a little process. Look at this. The topping of the month is uh, the uh, Peeps bunnies. Peeps. Oh, look, they've also got the Rosie. It's a dairy-free mango sorbet Balboa bar with uh, tahine and chamoy sauce. So we thought we were recording when I tried this for the first time, <laughs> but I ended up getting a, I talked to the lady and she was like, listen, try the Balboa bar if you're not like super, super into banana. Right. She's like, it's so much better, you'll be really happy. Yeah. So I ended up going with the Balboa bar. I did chocolate on the inside, dipped it in regular milk chocolate, put some Oreo crumbles on top with some caramel, because I'm a chocoholic and I love caramel. And uh, I already took a bite, but I can tell you, it's heaven on earth. It lives up to the hype. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, look at that. Now, it doesn't just taste like an ice cream bar that you can get at the, you know, the grocery store or whatever. The, the dip that they have, it's something special. It's, it's soft, yet still got a little bit of crunch, and the Oreos are super fresh. It's not like that dehydrated Oreo flavor. It's so good. The caramel is fantastic. It definitely lives up to the hype, I can tell you that much. Okay, so they were out of the tiramisu, which was pretty intriguing to me. Uh, but we decided, because of that, we decided, let's get... Uh, let's try the cheesecake. The cheesecake, so uh, chocolate covered with a little caramel drizzle. Now, I could have gotten another topping, but I didn't want to, like completely obliterate it because I could have got like Oreo or sprinkles or whatever. Um, I just wanted to kind of keep it simple. It's just how I am. So let's give it a try. Okay, here you go. Oh, you weren't kidding about that chocolate. It's just, it kind of mm -hmm. just, nice thin layer, super fresh. The cheesecake is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Caramel on top, I think that was a good call. She also said that a lot of people like to get the strawberry sauce which makes sense because, you know, you get strawberries with cheesecake sometimes, so that's kind of a no-brainer. Um, but that, oh boy, what a treat. Uh, really light, too. Um, Surprisingly. Yeah, I thought it was going to be kind of heavy, but it's, it's actually pretty light. So It's kind of crazy because that topping or the, the shell that's on the outside, I don't know why it's so light and crispy. It's so good. It's not like, you know, like a Dove bar? How, How they're like really thicker. tough and thick and yeah, this just kind of falls apart. Dude, it, it's so good. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, we're putting this high on the list as far as um, recommendations, and we don't, we're not super savvy with Babo Island, but we've found two good spots so far. So, okay, so sugar and spice. The original frozen banana since 1945 was amazing, but interesting little story. If you just walk down here a few hundred feet past this little chapel here, you'll notice another frozen banana stand that claims it's the original. It's his dad's original frozen banana. Look at those. Oh my gosh. They've got cookies, they've got ice cream. There it is, Dad's Donuts since 1960. Look at all those donuts in there. Oh my gosh. This is me after ingesting all that sugar in a coma, in a daze, a sugar daze. Oh, they've even got these cookies. Look at these amazing cookies as well. Oh my gosh. So kind of the story that, that I read, there was an LA Times article that kind of told the story that obviously 1945 comes before 1960, uh, but there's kind of a friendly rivalry uh, between the two establishments and you know kind of the word on the street is that dads came along after and that they kind of you know took the same idea uh, were inspired I would say the nice way to say it by sugar and spice and uh, so there's yeah there's a, a friendly little rivalry but uh, 
we wanted to choose what we thought was kind of the the older, the original, which is sugar and spice. Um, Dad's looks good too, and they've got donuts and cookies, and they've got their own little thing going. Uh, but it's ironic that they're so close to each other, they're just a few hundred feet apart. Uh, so I also imagine that if one is really crowded, you can jump over to the other one. Uh, so it kind of helps out there. Um, but I even heard some people who were walking up, uh, checking it out, saying, oh, but Dad's looks cuter, let's go here. So to each their own. And, and uh, why you choose one over the other, uh, that's up to you. But I'll tell you, we enjoyed the heck out of that thoroughly. Wow, look at this classic car. That is cool. Seen a lot of classic cars out here, and there it is. Uh, looks like a Fiat, it says on the back. Nice little convertible. Really cool. Look at that. All right, continuing on to the kind of the end of Marine here. Oh, barber shop. There's the old barber pole. Oh, is it a beauty bar? Is that the... Uh, That's what it said, but it looks like a... Probably. ...barber thing, so... Pretty cool, though. So what we're noticing is, you know, little food establishments, little boutiques, obviously. Uh, I've seen a few art galleries. Oh, yeah. And we'll cross the street here at the border, because there's the bridge that leads us over. Then you got some bike rentals, it looks like, here. Lots of bike rentals over here. Some electric uh, doodads as well. It's so neat to do that. Yeah. I love all this stuff, though. I wish we could go into every store. Yeah, these are Katie's kind of little boutiques with uh, very nautical. My mom as well. Yeah, we will uh, go in and spend hours. Katie, what happens on the Duffy stays on the Duffy, okay? That's cute. Just so you know. Cool signage, Cottage by the Sea, Beach. Oh, Beach Girl lives here? She does. All right, look at this bag. Where's my cabana boy? Where is he, huh? Oh, boy. Katie's been drawn in. There she goes. She sees flowers and baskets. Oh, it's called Blue Canoe. And yeah, they've got some nice kind of rustic antique vibe stuff. Look at this, really cool. It's just got a nice lazy feel. Oh, there goes another dog in a car. I've seen so many cars drive by with the dogs kind of hanging out the windows. Classic. Say goodbye to Sugar and Spice, Katie. Goodbye, Sugar and Spice. You hurt my stomach. <laughs> that was it for the day. I'll tell you what, I can't eat another bite. I don't care. So there's another restaurant we were considering today, the Village Inn Restaurant and Lodge. Looks classic, doesn't it? So maybe next time we'll hit that. And I want to rent one of those cool little Jeeps. Love those things. So we're making our way back through uh, the neighborhood this time instead of the little boardwalk path. Uh, it might save us a little time. But overall, it's smaller than I thought it was. Oh, I've really? always Well, yeah, because I've always heard of Balboa Island and uh, I had a different image in my head of what it was. Um, kind of thought it was like multiple streets and I saw it as like, I almost envisioned it like Catalina or something where there was a lot more going on. Um, it's quaint though, I mean it's not that that's a bad thing, it's just that I had this bigger image in my head of what it was I guess and that it was more carnival-y, but it's just really quaint, right? Yeah. Nice breeze right now and it, it's also comprised of just a lot of little homes and little neighborhoods, really. Yeah. Seemingly is what it's uh, predominantly about. I like it. No, it's very cool. Like, you know, look at the, look at the shark mailbox. That's so cool. But yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely got an old school flavor, really laid back. And you could pretty much see the length of it. So at the end of that street is one side of the island. You flip around and then there's the, where the path that we walked along the harbor is right there. Hey, look, I found a hidden Mickey. Hello. I've spotted an alligator. An alley gator, because he's in the alley. Is that... <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Okay, we made the turn down the street towards the ferry. It's at the end of this block here. Now, we forgot to mention that it cost us a buck fifty each to ride the ferry. Uh, no, buck seventy-five if you had a bike. Oh, okay. And then cars were, I think, three bucks a piece, maybe. Wow. Um, but yeah, they just go around and collect it. It's so old school. Very old school, yeah. Check it out, there's the Icy Bear. I don't know his name, but he's pretty cool. I used to love Icy's. 
there's a little store uh, around the front of this building, but... I was never a big IC gal. Really? Yeah. They were always like... I, dare I say too sweet, even though I'm a chocoholic and I love sweets. No, I know. I know what you mean, though. Yeah, they were just too... You know what I liked better than Icy was a slush puppy. Oh, look, Shirley Temple and Buddy Epson. So I read that Buddy Epson was a uh, resident of the island. Oh, really? For years, yeah. Famous actor, Buddy Epson. It's a nice little mural. Him and Shirley Temple. And then look, there it is. Sugar and Spice, dedicated in a mural. So I guess that solved the mystery. That solves the mystery. That is who the- Who is the better? Who is the superior, I guess? He's got a mural, yeah. Island Market and Liquor, who is is uh, who has these murals. And it says, John Wayne's 110th birthday, May 26, 2017. And they must have uh, dedicated that mural on the door to got all John Wayne, Katie, K. Masabe. Wouldn't your grandma like that? She would love that. She was a big John Wayne fan. And then this is a great one of the ferry. Looks like a 57 Chevy on, that's the, weird, on there. That's weird, we drove in behind a 1957 Chevy. That's true. Today. Oh. And there's a Woody right there. And then uh, some folks enjoying the beach. There's a, a doggo and a sand castle. We saw one of those. And then there it is. The Centennial was in 2016. 100 years. And we're back at the auto ferry to Balboa and Newport Coast Highway. All right, we made it. Make the Take the last ferry to Newport. Well, it's not the last ferry, but. <laughs> Back of the boat? Yep. All right, got your three bucks ready, Katie? I do indeed. All right. There goes the safety yeah, rail. All of his stuff is, is GPS. Goodbye, Balboa Island. That was fun. It was a good day. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. I know we ate a lot, but. Yeah, well. We didn't eat anything all day. We keep, we, seriously, that's what we do. <laughs> We don't eat all day, and then we have one massive meal. Gluttonous. Look at how pretty that looks over there. Yeah. Good gravy. And then look behind you. Oh my gosh. There's a sailboat coming through. Afternoon lighting is uh, pretty spectacular. See the Ferris wheel over there, and uh, there's another ferry pulling out on its way to the island. A couple of automobiles on board. So, Katie, I was just reading that this was uh, the very first ferry that ever uh, started doing this, 1919. Wow. Uh, and it's about a thousand feet, it says, uh, to cross. Jeez. And originally, I think it, they said it was. Uh, Stay here, five cents. I like seeing all the little sailboats. I think that's like the coolest part is yeah. like seeing all the sailboats and everything, you know? And then that Ferris wheel. And it says here, I'm looking at Wiki, uh, and it says here that it was featured in a Hugh Hauser California Gold episode. And we're back on the mainland. That Ferris wheel is kind of cool. It's, it's tiny, but it's cool. Scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Looks like they got some sea dew rentals down here. I've never been on one of those. Wait, what? Yeah, no, I haven't. Oh, Not once. so much fun. Yeah, I've lived in a bubble. <laughs> yeah, basically. Jane's corn dogs on the corner. Number two. There's two Jane's corn dogs, Katie. Oh, oh look, they've got churros, nachos, and frozen bananas. Lots oh, a Balboa stuff. bar. It seems to be a Quite thing. the Balboa thing. Yeah. I think we, uh, I can't even see the name Balboa Bar without feeling sick right now. <laughs> Woo! There's some bike rentals across the street. Look at that interesting uh, setup right there. Yeah, that is cool. It's like a trike because it's got three wheels, but it looks like you can uh, kind of sit down and go tandem there. That'd be kind of fun. So we're making our way back to the parking lot we started at, and it was just a short little two mini blocks to get to the, uh, to the ferry. All right, well, we made it back to the parking lot here, uh, the old Balboa Municipal parking lot. Uh, <laughs> and it was a short walk um, over there to the, to the little ferry. It was nice. It was a really yeah. good day. I very much enjoyed myself. I know you did. Oh, I'm yeah. super full. If you enjoyed this video, you can let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. That's right, and we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody.